Breakfast is ready. Mm. Wait, no sugar. Coming. Mm. Porridge. Is it a fever? A stomach ache? Chills? Constipation? Oh. Wait, is it that? Did the did the red peony bloom? No. Maybe. <gasps> I'm Maylin Lee, and ever since I turned 13, I've been doing my own thing, making my own moves, 24/7, 365. I wear what I want, say what I want. And not hesitate to do a spontaneous cartwheel if I feel so moved. <laughs> oh, crap. Not to brag, but being 13 means I'm officially a grown-up, at least according to the Toronto Transit Commission. Good for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, about that hustle, am I right? The impact that Pixar has on all humans. It's really kind of amazing to think about. I've been watching Pixar my entire life. Within the sort of treasure chest you put memories of your childhood in, Pixar films oh loom pretty large. To this and... day. They're incredibly entertaining and deep, and there's so much meaning behind them. You know, watching Turning Red. Besties, assemble! It really resonated with me. This is grade eight. I don't got time to mess around. The challenge we always set for ourselves at Pixar is we want it to feel like our films are grounded in stories that are specific and unique, but also universal. What's going on, honey? I'm a gross red monster! <laughs> the goal is to have it be based in personal experience, and I don't know if Domi has come clean, but it's a little autobiographical, this story. The inspiration behind Turning Red comes from my own life growing up as a dorky Chinese-Canadian girl in Toronto, Canada. It really taps into that awkward, cringy time in all of our lives when we were 13, when everything in our lives were changing. Whoa, what is that? Some of the craziest moments in the film are based on things that have happened to Domi. You were born to for trespassing! Mommy! Oh. Except, of course, for the giant furry red panda. <laughs> I think Turning Red is universal. It's about finding your own voice and then accepting your own voice. We're bringing something new and different while also keeping with the Pixar tradition of great stories and great characters. My whole life I've been perfect little Maymay. But maybe I like this new me. Are you a werewolf? No! What? <laughs> He's a red panda! Sick. You're so floppy! You're so floppy! I've always wanted a tail. All right, guys. The quadratic formula. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Who could tell me how the formula begins? X equals... Happening. What is that? Oh, oh snap! Oh. All right, settle down, little goblins. Whoa! No.
Kong. <sighs> Zen. The challenge we all are watching turning red. Besties, assemble! It really at Pixar is we want it to feel like our films are grounded in stories that are universal. What's going on, honey? I'm a gross red monster! <laughs> the goal is to have it be based in personal experience and but it's a little autobiography. It comes from my own life growing up as a dorky Chinese Canadian girl in Toronto, Canada. To that awkward, cringy time in all of our when everything in it's about finding your own voice and then accepting your own voice. So keeping with the Pixar tradition of great characters. My whole life I've been perfect little maybe. But maybe I like this new me.